the ultimate methylene blue review is it the best nootropic hey everyone today we're going to dive into the fascinating world of methylene blue it's a compound that's been around for quite a while with the history dating back to the late 19th century originally used as a dye and even an anti-malarial treatment it has recently gained popularity as a nootropic for cognitive enhancement in a nutshell methylene blue is a synthetic chemical compound that has a stunning blue color it's been making waves in the nootropics community for its potential to boost focus memory and overall brain function. So stick around as we take a closer look at this intriguing substance and figure out whether it deserves a spot in your nootropic arsenal. Let's get started. Alright folks, the main goal of this video is to evaluate how effective methylene blue really is when it comes to enhancing our cognitive abilities. We'll be diving deep into its benefits, how it stacks up against other popular nootropics and, of course, I'll be sharing my own personal experience with it. We want to make sure that by the end of this video you have a clear understanding of whether methylene blue is worth trying out or not. So buckle up and let's embark on this exciting journey to unravel the mysteries of methylene blue as a nootropic. So before we jump into the nitty gritty of methylene blue as a nootropic, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to see where it all began. Methylene blue was first synthesized way back in 1876 by a German chemist named Heinrich Karol. It started off primarily as a dye for textiles, but soon found its way into the medical world. In the early days, methylene blue was used as an anti-malarial treatment, and it actually played a significant role in the development of modern anti-malarial drugs. It was also used to treat methemoglobinemia, a condition where the blood isn't able to carry enough oxygen. But that's not all. Doctors even used it as a treatment for urinary tract infections and as a stain for identifying certain bacteria. Now that we know a bit about methylene blue's colorful history, let's talk about how it made the leap from medical treatments to becoming a sought-after nootropic. So, it all started when researchers began exploring the compound's effects on the brain and nervous system. They discovered that methylene blue had some intriguing properties, like its ability to improve cellular energy production and protect neurons from oxidative stress. As more studies were conducted, the evidence began to mount, showing that methylene blue could potentially enhance memory, focus, and overall cognitive function. Word about these findings spread, and soon enough, people in the nootropics community started experimenting with methylene blue to see if it could help them unlock their full cognitive potential. Fast forward to today, and methylene blue has become a popular nootropic, with many enthusiasts swearing by its brain-boosting effects. Of course, that's what we're here to find out, right? So, let's keep going and delve deeper into the world of methylene blue as a cognitive enhancer. Alright, so let's get into the exciting part, how does methylene blue actually work its magic on our brains? To put it simply, methylene blue has a couple of key mechanisms that contribute to its cognitive enhancing effects. First off, methylene blue is known to increase cellular energy production in the brain. It does this by donating electrons to the mitochondria, you know, those little powerhouses of our cells. With this extra boost of energy, our brain cells can function more efficiently, which can lead to improvements in focus, memory, and overall cognitive performance. Secondly, methylene blue acts as an antioxidant, which means it helps protect our neurons from damage caused by oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is basically an imbalance between the production of free radicals and our body's ability to counteract their harmful effects. By reducing oxidative stress, methylene blue may help to preserve and even enhance our brain function over time. So there you have it. Methylene blue works its brain boosting magic by improving cellular energy production and protecting our neurons from oxidative stress. Now that we've got a grasp on how methylene blue works in our brains, let's talk about the key benefits it offers when it comes to cognitive enhancement. Keep in mind that individual experiences may vary, but here are some of the most commonly reported effects. Improved focus and concentration. Many users report that methylene blue helps them stay focused and maintain their concentration during mentally demanding tasks. This can be a game changer when you're trying to power through that long study session or finish a complex project. Enhanced memory. Methylene blue has been shown to improve memory formation and recall in some studies. This means you might find it easier to remember important information, whether you're studying for an exam or just trying to recall where you put your keys. Mood elevation. Some users have reported that methylene blue has a mood boosting effect, helping to alleviate stress and anxiety. This can make it easier to tackle challenging tasks with a more positive and motivated mindset. Increased mental energy. Thanks to its effects on cellular energy production, methylene blue may help you feel more mentally energized and alert, which can be especially helpful during those mid-afternoon slumps. Neuro protection, as we mentioned earlier, methylene blue's antioxidant properties can help protect your brain from oxidative stress, which may contribute to maintaining and even improving cognitive function as you age. So there you have it, the key benefits of methylene blue for cognitive enhancement. 
keep in mind that individual experiences can vary and not everyone will experience all of these benefits. But it's definitely exciting to know that this little blue compound has the potential to give our brains a serious boost. So now it's time to get a little personal and share why I decided to give methylene blue a try in the first place. Like many of you out there, I'm always looking for ways to optimize my cognitive performance and get the most out of my brain. I mean, who doesn't want to be more focused, remember things better and just feel sharper overall, right? I'd heard about methylene blue from various sources, online forums, podcasts and even a few friends who had tried it themselves. The reported benefits, like improved focus, memory and mental energy, definitely caught my attention. Plus, I was intrigued by the fact that it's been around for so long and has such a diverse range of uses in the medical field. So, I figured, why not give it a shot? I did my research, made sure I understood the potential risks and benefits, and decided to experiment with methylene blue to see if it could help me unlock new levels of cognitive performance. And that, my friends, is how I embarked on my methylene blue journey. Ok, so let's talk about how I went about dosing and administering methylene blue when I started my little experiment. Now, it's important to remember that finding the right dosage can be a bit of trial and error as everyone's body and brain are different. So, always start low and go slow, and of course, consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns. That being said, I started with a low dose of around 1 mg, which is considered a safe starting point for most people. I dissolved the methylene blue powder in water, making sure to measure it accurately with the milligram scale. Just a heads up, this stuff stains pretty much everything it touches, so be careful when handling it. I took the methylene blue in the morning on an empty stomach to maximize absorption. To avoid potential interactions with other supplements, I made sure to take it at least an hour before or after consuming any other nootropics or medications. As I continued my experiment, I carefully monitored my body's response to the methylene blue and adjusted the dosage as needed. Remember, it's crucial to listen to your body and make any changes based on how you feel and what results you're experiencing. So, that's how I went about dosing and administering methylene blue. Now, let's move on to the exciting part, the effects I noticed both positive and negative during my trial with this intriguing nootropic. Keep in mind that these are my personal observations and your experience may vary. Focus, I definitely noticed an improvement in my ability to concentrate while using methylene blue. It seemed to help me stay on task and avoid distractions, especially during those long work sessions when my attention would usually start to wane. Memory, I can't say that I experienced any drastic changes in my memory, but I did feel like it was somewhat easier to retain and recall information while taking methylene blue. This was particularly noticeable when I was studying new topics or trying to remember small details in my day-to-day -day life. Mood, one of the more surprising effects I noticed was a slight boost in my overall mood. I felt more positive, motivated and resilient when faced with challenges, which made it easier to tackle difficult tasks and push through any mental barriers. Of course, it's essential to remember that these are just my personal experiences and your mileage may vary. But for me, methylene blue definitely had some noticeable and positive effects on my focus, memory and mood. Alright, so we've covered the positive effects I experienced with methylene blue, but it's also important to discuss the potential side effects and precautions you should be aware of. While methylene blue is generally considered safe when used responsibly, it's essential to keep these points in mind. Staining, as I mentioned before, methylene blue is a potent dye and can stain just about anything it comes into contact with, including your skin, clothes and countertops. So, be extra cautious when handling it to avoid any mishaps. Gastrointestinal issues Some people, including myself, have experienced mild gastrointestinal side effects like nausea or an upset stomach when taking methylene blue. To minimize this, you might want to start with a lower dose and gradually increase it as your body adjusts. Headaches Some users have reported headaches as a side effect of methylene blue, although I didn't experience this personally. If you do encounter headaches, consider lowering your dose or discontinuing use to see if it helps. Drug interactions Methylene blue is known to interact with certain medications, such as antidepressants, blood pressure medications and blood thinners. If you're taking any medications or have a pre-existing medical condition, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before trying methylene blue. Individual variation, as with any supplement or nootropic, everyone's body and brain respond differently. So, be prepared for some trial and error to find the right dosage and administration method that works best for you. 
In conclusion, while I personally experienced some positive effects from using methylene blue, it's important to be aware of the potential side effects and precautions. Always listen to your body, start with a low dose, and consult a healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Now that we've covered my personal experience with methylene blue, let's take a step back and see how it compares to other popular nootropics out there. It's always helpful to have a frame of reference when considering whether to add a new supplement to your cognitive enhancing toolkit, right? Modafinil. Modafinil is a well-known nootropic, often used for its wakefulness promoting and focus enhancing effects. While methylene blue also boosts focus and mental energy, it doesn't have the same level of stimulant-like effect as modafinil. On the flip side, methylene blue may have some advantages in terms of near protection and mood elevation, which are not as prominent with modafinil. Raystems, the Raystem family of nootropics, which includes pyrocetam, aniracetam, and others, is known for improving memory, focus, and learning ability. Methylene blue shares some of these benefits, but it works through a different mechanism of action. While ray stems primarily modulate neurotransmitters in the brain, methylene blue enhances cellular energy production and provides antioxidant protection. This means that methylene blue may offer some unique benefits compared to ray stems and it could potentially be combined with them in a synergistic stack. L-theanine and caffeine, this popular nootropic duo is known for promoting focus, alertness and mental clarity while reducing the jitters and anxiety that can come with caffeine alone. Methylene blue has similar effects on focus and mental energy, but it also offers additional benefits like near protection and mood elevation. Combining methylene blue with l and caffeine could create an even more potent cognitive enhancing stack. In summary, while methylene blue shares some similarities with other popular nootropics, it also has some unique benefits and mechanisms of action. This makes it an interesting addition to the world of cognitive enhancers and it could potentially be used alongside other nootropics for synergistic effects. So, you might be wondering how to get the most out of methylene blue by combining it with other nootropics in a stack. Stacking refers to using two or more supplements together to enhance their individual effects and create a more potent cognitive boost. Here are some popular methylene blue stacks to consider. Methylene blue plus ray stamps, as we mentioned earlier, methylene blue and ray stamps have different mechanisms of action, which means they could potentially work synergistically for even greater cognitive enhancement. Combining methylene blue with the ray stem like pyrocetam or aniracetam may help improve memory, focus and mental energy beyond what each compound can offer on its own. Methylene blue plus l plus caffeine, this stack brings together the focus and mental energy benefits of methylene blue, the calming effects of l and the alertness provided by caffeine. The result is a well-rounded cognitive boost that may help you stay focused, alert and relax during demanding tasks. Methylene blue plus N-acetyl L-tyrosine, NALT is a more bioavailable form of the amino acid L-tyrosine, which is a precursor to important neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. Combining methylene blue with NALT may help support mood, focus and mental energy by enhancing neurotransmitter production while also providing the neuroprotective benefits of methylene blue. Methylene blue plus alpha-GPC. Alpha-GPC is a choline source that is known to improve memory, focus and cognitive function. When combined with methylene blue, it may help to further enhance cognitive performance and provide additional brain-boosting benefits. As with any nootropic stack, it's essential to start with low doses of each compound and monitor your body's response before making any adjustments. And of course, consult a healthcare professional if you have any concerns or if you're taking medications that could interact with these supplements. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, my final verdict on whether methylene blue is the best nootropic out there. As with most things in life, the answer is a bit nuanced. While I can't definitively say that methylene blue is the absolute best nootropic for everyone, it certainly has some unique and promising cognitive enhancing properties. In my personal experience, methylene blue had a positive impact on my focus, memory and mood. Its ability to improve cellular energy production and protect neurons from oxidative stress sets it apart from many other nootropics on the market. Plus, it has potential for synergistic effects when combined with other cognitive enhancers in a stack. That being said, it's important to remember that everyone's brain and body are different and what works well for one person might not be the best fit for another. The key is to experiment responsibly, start with low doses and pay attention to how your body responds. And always consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns or are taking medications that could interact with methylene blue. So, is methylene blue the best nootropic? Maybe not for everyone, but it's definitely worth considering as part of your cognitive enhancement arsenal. Give it a try, see how it works for you, and who knows, you just might find that it's the perfect brain boosting companion for your unique needs.
I hope you found this review helpful and informative as you explore the world of cognitive enhancement. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content on nootropics, biohacking and all things related to optimizing your brain power. Also, be sure to check out the link in the description below for my nootropics and biohacking books, which are packed with even more tips, tricks and insights to help you unlock your full cognitive potential. Thank you so much for watching and as always, happy biohacking!